at Florida Supercon, Miami Beach Convention Center, and a regular here, the creator of Headlocked. He's going to talk to you about it. Michael Kingston works with a lot of the wrestlers with this and all. So first, tell us a little bit about Headlocked. So Headlocked is sort of an HBO-style drama about a kid working his way through the wrestling business. And what's kind of cool about it is that it, all the art in the book is done by actual professional wrestlers. So Jerry Lawler does the covers, and the, the interiors are done by... Uh, Kel Molapola, who's a Samoan wrestler from New Zealand. So it's sort of a kid learning the art of wrestling with all the art being done by wrestlers. Uh, we've had uh, 20, 20 or so different televised wrestlers contribute story and art to the book. Uh, AJ Styles, Samoan Joe, John Morrison, Booker T, uh, a lot of big names. We've got even bigger names coming in the future. Um, so I think if you like wrestling and you like comics, like this is a, this is a comic that's for wrestling fans. It's not Undertaker fighting demons, and it's not Kevin Nash's Mad Max. It's you know it's a kid like you know coming of age in the wrestling business, and it's really interesting. And it's very fun, and I think uh, I think you'll dig it. You should give it a shot. It's a story. Yes, it really is a story. It's, it's not a, a match versus yeah. match type scenario. Absolutely, you know, it's a journey through the business. So. And this right here, tell us a little bit about. Let me get try to get a full shot of this. This is great. We're trying to make like. Uh, you know, like a movie type of thing to grab people's attention, and uh, you know it does. Sometimes, all sometimes too good because people are like, "Oh, is this a movie?" And I'm like, "No, no, it's my comic book." And they're like, ah, "Well, I don't read comics." So. But you know, I think it's a really cool image. It's very striking, and you know, uh, I think it sells what uh, you know, sort of what the book's about, like the passion and the spectacle of wrestling. And, uh, Who did this image? Uh, Mikel, the artist. Uh, that's so, great. Yeah, no, I love it. And, uh, and you got the shirts as well, too. Yeah, we try to make some shirts that I think uh, are fun and they're not uh, they're not like super dorky. You know, it's not necessarily like you know, we don't have like shirtless dudes on them, and you know we don't have guys in spandex because I think a lot of I mean, that was always a problem with wrestling shirts. I think you know we have an iron-on patch of like a shirtless male, and guys don't want to wear that kind of stuff. So you know, one of the things that's kind of cool, is, like we have a real devoted fan base, so we sort of call it the. the four color fight clubs, you know, comics are four color, and, you know, we're sort of, uh, you know, us against the world, because, you know, when, when we started, like, everybody in comics was like, nobody will read this, and nobody will buy this, and, you know, there's no room for wrestling in comics, and, you know, so we, we sort of fought to get where we are, so, you know, that's sort of the genesis of the shirt, being called the four color fight club, and then we made, like, a cool design that I think people would be, uh, you know, cool about wearing in public, it's a cool shirt versus, you know, something that might not be, uh, you know, presentable. In that capacity, right. I need a girlfriend. So. <laughs> now, social media, where can they find out about all this? Everything's Headlock Comic. Our, uh, our Facebook is Headlock Comic, Twitter, uh, the website. Uh, you can get books on there. Uh, it's all run by me, so anything you send through there will come directly to me. And, uh, I, uh, I process everything pretty quick. So, uh, you know, hit me up if you have questions, comments, concerns, anything. I'm uh, always available. Thank you, Michael. Thanks for, thanks for having me.